Last night, Luka dropped 73 points, and that got me thinking, is Luka going to be the new face of the NBA? Now, obviously, right now, Luka is not the face of the NBA. I mean, some people would probably argue it, but I think it's safe to say that for this last decade, this last generation, it was Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, and of course, LeBron James as the face of the NBA. You know, these are the players that the NBA markets the best and that people want to see the most. But obviously, all of these guys are like age 35 and up. LeBron is now 39 years old. And so that's a thing that I think about a lot is who is going to be the next face of the league, the next guy when these guys all go and retire, or if they're, you know, maybe they're still playing, but they kind of fall off in skill level, which I don't think they really have reached that level yet. Who's going to be that next guy that the NBA loves to market and that everyone wants to see the most? It could be Luca. Now, I do want to say that while he was going crazy, I was unfortunately not home. Like when the NBA games are going on, I'm usually home. So what are the odds that the one time someone goes off like this? I'm not home that's just that's just unlucky but I did you know watch the game back and watch the highlights you guys can see 73 points 10 rebounds 7 assists 76% from the field this is one of if not the greatest performance in NBA history I mean it's got to be in the conversation just because of how efficient he was and we'll get into the stats in a second but if we take a look at some of these highlights and I don't want to have the sound in it pretty much all of these buckets he gets like with ease, like I'll just skip around. I don't know, let's just watch a random play right here. Just a step back three. That one like wasn't, that didn't look too easy. Like that guy got a hand in his face, but a lot of these, and let's see, maybe he's gonna shoot a three here, but a lot of them are like in the midi or he's just getting layups. And the way Luca plays, like it just looks like he's playing slower than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? The game is moving so fast for everybody. They're trying to keep up and Luca is playing in slow motion there have been very few players in nba history to ever score 70 points in a singular game of course we have wilt with his 100 point game and he's a bunch of games above 70 then we have kobe bryant with his 81 point game david robinson david thompson elgin baylor devin booker donovan mitchell damian lillard joel Embiid, and luka Doncic. and the last four of these mitchell lillard and beat and Doncic, have all happened in about the last 13 months so is this going to be like the norm? Like people, I saw people tweeting, someone said like scoring 70 points is now the new 60. Kind of like how people say, you know, when MJ would average 35, that would be like averaging, you know, 40 plus in today's NBA. In the comments down below, do you guys think this is going to be like a normal occurrence now? Because literally like almost half the list, you could even include Devin Booker, which happened kind of recently. Like half the list happened in the last 13 months or if you want to include booker i mean that probably happened a few years ago you know what i'm saying so is this going to be a normal thing or are we just seeing crazy outlier performances just like it's a coincidence now i find this stat pretty crazy obviously luca did this performance if you guys didn't know on the four year anniversary of kobe's death so rp to him but kobe scored 81 points on 46 shots Luca scored his 73 on only 33 shots. That's just how efficient he was last night. And I'll pull up the field goal numbers and percentages in a second. And again, I wasn't watching this game, but I was looking at Twitter while it was going on. And actually, I did watch the end of the game. I watched in the fourth quarter. Everyone was saying Luca is going to break Kobe's 81 point record. Everyone was saying that during the entire game. Pulling up Luca's game log, he had 73 points obviously last night, seven assists, 10 boards, and the efficiencies were crazy. 25 for 33 is unreal. Like, it's crazy when you're very efficient. Like, look at this 76% from the field. Are you kidding? Like, it's crazy when you are that efficient and it's a short sample, it's a small sample size. Like, if you're 10 for 12, Kaminga was 11 for 11 like like two nights ago. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy when it's a small sample size, but when you get to a big sample size like that, you take 33 shots and you're still making 25 of them. I mean, that's almost unheard of. Eight for 13 from the three, 61% from the three, and then 94% from the line. He missed one singular free throw. And they almost lost too, 148 to 143. I was kind of wishing that it was gonna go to OT. It was like 146 to 143 at one point. And I think the Hawks had the ball, but they ended up not scoring or something. And obviously the Mavs won by five. But if this went to OT, I mean, Luca probably would have broke 81 or at least tied it. And I was also wondering, and I was talking to somebody about this. And if Luca was at 81 points and he was at the free throw line and he had another free throw to go, 
do you think Luca would have made it and got 82? Or does Luca miss it on purpose to honor Kobe and tie him with 81? And what's so crazy about Luca and his season that he's having is look at these stats. He's averaging almost 35 points per game, nine rebounds per game, and nine assists per game. He's almost averaging a 35 points triple double. Please let that sink in. Like, He's the fourth best player in the NBA according to the MVP odds for this year. You got, of course, Embiid, who's ahead of him. And I think, you know, he deserves it. I think Embiid has had a better season than Luka and should be the MVP. Then you have Jokic, who's in second. I don't know. Luka might be above Jokic for this season in my little rankings. I'm not I'm not mad at you if you think Jokic. I, I don't know. I, I don't really care too much. It's just... It's all talk. And then you have SGA, who is third, of course, because the Thunder are like the second best team in the West. He's having a crazy season, not really like Luka's. And I still think Luka is better than SGA. Like when you just like, I don't know, to compare them, obviously SGA is way better defensively, but I don't know, give me Luka. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think Luka's probably the second best player this season, but according to the MVP odds, he's fourth, which is just crazy. And then you still have Giannis, which the top five is kind of like in a tier of their own, in my opinion, with Embiid, Jokic, SGA, Luka, and Giannis for this year. Like Giannis is putting up crazy numbers. You know, he's putting up like 32 and 12 and six assists. Like five insane MVP caliber seasons are all going on right now. Like it's just crazy that this type of talent is all in the league, especially at the same time. I think this is the most talented the NBA has ever been because you still got guys like LeBron, KD, Curry, then you got guys like Kawhi, you got Tatum, Halliburton's on the rise. You got, there's just so much talent. I don't know if there's, like, there's definitely not been a point in NBA history where there was this much talent in the league at once. Earlier this week, Joel Embiid and Cat became the first two NBA players to score 60 plus points on the same night in 46 years. How long? I don't even think it was a week ago. I think it was like four days ago, five days ago. Oh yeah, it says four days later. I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. Four days later. Luka Doncic and Devin Booker did it again. The NBA is insane. And it's also insane that D-Book, who we pr I probably would have made a video about Booker if it wasn't for Luka. And same with Cat. I would have had a whole video about Cat if it wasn't for Embiid. But, you know, obviously, a few days ago, we had a video about Embiid. It's crazy. He dropped 62 in a loss and then Cat 62 in a loss. And Cat's was against the Hornets. So, Booker's was against the Pacers. So, at least that's a more competent team. But, I mean, these stats are, like, almost like unbelievable like when you really like sit back and think like yo if, if i told you before this happened like if i told you on what is it like monday like before any of these games happen and i was like yo this week there's gonna be two different days where on the same day two players are gonna go for 60 plus two of them going for 70 plus like that's just insane now we have the conversation that i really want to get into and i want you guys to join the conversation in the comment section below i'll be replying to every single comment who is going to be the new face of the NBA? Because we're in that weird transition period where we got LeBron, we got Curry, we got KD. They, in my opinion, are still the face. I know Embiid's going crazy, Jokic is going crazy, Luka's going crazy, but I don't think they've taken the torch yet. And I'm talking generational face of the league. I'm not talking about he's the face for two years and then he might fall. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking who is this generation, the next generation after LeBron, KD, and Curry, who is going to be dominating the NBA and who is going to be the face for 15 years. Now, there's a few things that go into this because you can't just be good. You can't just be an elite talent. I mean, we've seen guys like Kawhi who are boring. They're, they're Some people call them robotic. Like, you're not going to be the face like that. You need to have a certain level of, you know, swag, I guess. You got to have personality. You got to be entertaining as well. So I think Luka is probably going to be that guy. I mean, y'all can let me know who you think it is. I have four other players I'm about to talk about that are in the mix. I think there's about five guys that could be the new face. The second one is going to be Anthony Edwards. And this is in no particular order, by the way, no particular order. But I think with Ant, he just has the perfect mold. Usually with the face of the league, we have a player of, well, he's 6'4", so he's a little bit shorter. Usually, you know the player the face of the league is probably about six six to six nine usually or it's like some type of taller guard or forward so i think anthony edwards has it because just of the personality 
and his play. I, I mean, it's kind of like a little MJ light, you know what I'm saying? A little MJ Jr., if you want to say. And then the next guy is going to be SJ. And also, with all these guys, I'm picking guys that are like age 25-ish or under. Like, if you're already 28, then, and you're not the face, you know what I'm saying? You're not the face and you're already 28, then how long are you really going to be it? You know what I'm saying? Like a guy like, I guess, Embiid. Like, he could be the face for like four years. But I'm talking, who's the face of the generation? SGA is 25 years old. And obviously, he's putting up better numbers than Ant. So, I think SGA and Ant both in the mix i don't know sj is a little bit quiet i don't know how much that matters um but he's definitely in the mix and then jason tatum of course another thing that plays into this is market the boston celtics are one of the biggest basketball franchises one of the biggest markets in the entire nba they're probably second behind the lakers or i don't know it's we don't have to debate that but you know what i'm saying they're one of the best and tatum is in that mix I think he will also be one of the faces. And then, of course, the fifth guy is Victor Wembenyama. I mean, we're already seeing it. Like, the NBA just loves to glaze him. They love to promote him. So, I mean, out of all these guys, they, they love... I mean, they love to promote all five of them. But we're already seeing it with Wemby. And, of course, Wemby is age 20. He just turned 20, by the way. He was 19, which is insane. That is unreal. And he... I mean, look at the numbers. He's, he's pretty... This is pretty much his age 19 season. Averaging over 20... 10 a double double with like four blocks per game like it's unreal and this is his rookie year rookie year Wemby's doing this so what is he going to be doing 10 years from now you know what i'm saying this is going to be unreal we have so many players let me know in the comments who do you think is going to be the face of the next generation if you had to pick one player let me know in the comments i'm going with luca